Hey guys, it's Jerry Orris, Point for Kids. First, today we're reviewing the new incredible film, The Bridge of Spies. This film is quite a masterpiece. Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks team up again to make what will definitely be another Oscar-winning film. The story starts during the Cold War, and it's not a pretty good time for anybody. In Berlin, the Berlin Wall is being constructed. For people who do not know what the Berlin Wall is, the Berlin Wall was something which kind of separated the East Berlin from... Uh, West Berlin and the rest of Germany, and it was a very bad time for people in the East Berlin. There was no food, there was no water, everything was just kind of falling apart, and it was a very dangerous place to be. And back in the United States, the United States government just captured what they think to be is a Russian spy there to kind of investigate the nuclear powers of the United States. Because during Cold War, Russia and the United States were kind of fearing each other for nuclear threats, so it was a very intense time. Not much fighting, but very intense between the two countries. Well, the United States laws that any citizen or any criminal needs to get a fair trial, so they hired a very skilled lawyer to give him a, tri a fair trial. Instead of just saying he got a fair trial and just be done with it, and putting him in jail or even giving him the death sentence, the lawyer actually finds out that he may really not be a spy. He goes above and beyond to do many things for this Russian, and it, it's a very bad time to do this because in the United States, they hate Russians, and in Russia, they hate Americans. It's not a very good time between the two countries in relationship-wise, and I just think this film is so amazing. Steven Spielberg, he does something, I don't know how, he does something so you bond with the characters. Characters you just meet for the first time, and you bond with them. When they... When they feel upset, you feel upset. When it's an intense scene, they're in it, you feel scared for them. I don't know how he does it, but he is amazing at it. He truly has the talent to do it through camera shots and close-ups. And Tom Hanks, oh my goodness, he does such a wonderful job with Steven Spielberg. They really are the dream team because while Steven Spielberg does the camera shots and all the sets and everything to make it look so dramatic and intense, but still have some jokes here and there. Tom Hanks plays the character, and he does such a fantastic job playing the character. The rest of the cast did so good, and it really is truly a masterpiece of a film. And I'm predicting it's not going to only win at least a few Oscars, but I think this is going to win on Best of the Year because this film really was just stupendous. It was legendary, to be honest. The camera shots, like I said, I remember on one scene on the bridge, in uh, Berlin, it was snowing. It was very hard to see across the bridge. And Steven Spielberg, instead of doing an air shot like a normal bridge shot would probably be, he did from the ground, looking towards the bridge, seeing the other side, just barely seeing a few people walking around, maybe some lights in the snow, and just looks mind-blowing. He does such a wonderful job portraying the scenes in each way. Not just portraying them so they look nice, but portraying them so they look legendary each shot is a shot that says, ooh, that's a nice shot. And each shot you can just look into it, rip apart, see what it is, and he just does such an amazing and extraordinary job at that. My favorite scene, well, one of my favorite scenes, because each scene in this film is important in its own way and made to be extraordinary and perfect, because Steven Spielberg, he only goes for above and beyond. One of my favorite scenes, though, is one day when a uh, United States spy is flying over Russia in a 70,000 foot altitude plane. Now, this may seem normal because there's a lot of high altitude flying planes like a 70 foot thousand plane, but this is special. This is one of the first planes that can fly at 70,000 feet. It hasn't been heard of before. So a pilot is flying the plane and bam, it's over Russia, gets shot down by missiles. Now, what he's supposed to do is just stay in the plane and go down with the plane because he carries some secret intel, but he gets completely shot out the plane because the cockpit, cockpit shatters, and it's just incredible, the special effects, how they did it. It looks very realistic, and I feel like I'm right next to him, falling down 70,000 feet at 500 miles per hour, and it just looks incredible. It's mind-blowing, it's intense. Like a lot of other films, in, like a lot of other scenes in the film, you are at the edge of your seat waiting to see what's going to happen next, and it's just mind-blowing. He, he, they all did just a wonderful job. The sets, the camera shots, everything is just incredible in this film. This film does talk about a lot of pretty intense and dramatic moments in history, like the Cold War and the Berlin Wall. 
So there are some pretty dramatic scenes. So I wouldn't recommend this to kids. So I gave them a training of 11 to 18. And I also think it's important because you have only this one man who thinks that this Russian spy should get fair treatment and the rest of the United States is thinking, oh, he's a spy, get him out of here. He shouldn't belong in this country. He's the most hated man in the United States for helping this Russian spy who may not even be a Russian spy. We don't know. So I just think it's a fantastic message. Just don't judge a book by its cover because, oh man, he's Russian. He has a Russian accent, so he must be a Russian spy. He may not be a Russian spy. If you like to see this film, it is in theaters near you now. And I give this film definitely a 5 out of 5 stars because it is just extraordinary. Camera shots, directing definitely Steven Spielberg, he's a legendary director. And this is definitely one of his best work. Acting, Tom Hanks, another legendary director. No, uh, legendary actor, and this is one of his best pieces, I think, one of his best characters. He just does a perfect job portraying each emotion perfectly and more. And I have to say, I do really think this film is going to win Oscars Best of the Year for 2016. I'm Jerry Orr, signing off. Bye!